In a day packed with violence of all kinds, it's hard to know where to begin. The assassination attempt, the university teacher, crisis, of the terror organization's top soldiers, was killed in a of wisdom in the old ways of African society. Justice was a communal affair, and society set a very high store by social harmony and peace, because, as I said, a person is a person through other persons. A broken person needed to be helped, to be healed. When we act as if we really believe that someone can be better, is better, then they will often rise to our expectations. Be welcome. To be in conversation is a human uh, activity. And uh, until everyone is at the table, we won't have that full celebration of humanity for which we all long. There isn't anything that can't be on the table. Everything is raisable. There isn't any forbidden subject. So if we can build up a community of trust, uh, then we can talk about anything we need to talk about. And hum the human family needs to talk about some very tough things. At the World Forum, there'll be uh, an experiential uh, piece where we will be um, in learning discussions about ways in which we can hear each other, particularly around issues of conflict. Um, the project itself, the Youth Dialogue Project, will be an ongoing project uh, starting this August and continuing through to the following August. And we'll be learning about how to bridge uh, in conflict through conversation and, um, and how to resolve conflict. So the vision for uh, the World Forum and the video conferences that we'll be doing from these different countries um, is really to engage youth in a human way, human being to human being. As you'll see um, from this piece that Global Nomads did from a video conference that they had from Rwanda to the United States. Let's not allow it. Let's not allow it. It's much painful. Very painful. Let's not allow it. As the young generation, let's do Our oh, fellow, fellow humans. You can't say you are not in Rwanda. You can't say you're not a Rwanda. You're a, you're a human being. Let's have one. I do think that we all really want peace. I think we really uh, struggle for it internally. And I think it's a place where we can take a look at what can we do, what can we each do towards that end. I think as lawyers, we miss tremendous opportunity to do more and a greater good, uh, not just for ourselves and our clients, but for the community at large. And I think this forum can offer the opportunity to look at ourselves and our own um, practices in ways that, that might broaden and deepen us. The World Forum is extremely important because I think it will bring people from different disciplines and backgrounds together to address peaceful conflict resolution. I see this forum as a counterpart to the World Economic Forum that deals with the world's economic agenda, whereas our forum is going to deal with the human agenda of peacemaking. I also believe that the organizers of this effort were truly inspired by something far greater than themselves. I realize this and I hope other people that are considering supporting this effort also realize it. I think there are so many issues today where people are really not talking to each other uh, and they are seeking remedies including violence, which is the worst possible remedy, uh, rather than discussion. The World Forum is going to be uh, very illuminating, very interesting, and I think most people uh, benefit from those kinds of uh, different perspectives and different points of view, and it makes you think. What is our collective conscience? 
What is our collective conscience? What do we stand for? And when we use the word democracy, what do we mean? Uh, those are subjects as deep as the listener wants them to be. And so this kind of discussion, I'm looking forward to it very much. I think it'll be a, a wonderful thing. I really believe that the, the formatting of this and the model of this will inspire people to action and to take initiatives and uh, to embrace change and to create change. And I think uh, uh, that's where we are. I'm very excited about the World Forum uh, and what the Rock Rose Institute is, is galvanizing in San Francisco, uh, primarily because um, many people want a place where they can join, where they can learn, where they can problem solve together and have some tangible outcomes. And I think this is a, an opportunity that uh, we can't miss. It's no longer that those other folks are over there somewhere. Those other folks are our neighbors and we have to find constructive ways to engage them if we want finally to survive as a species on this planet. And we can only do that with the best wisdom and best intention of all people with all their diverse life experience. We need to find a way to live together to share common visions of the good we would like to create, to roll up our sleeves and do that work. And the only way that's going to happen is if we have the courage to sit down together at a table together and look at the challenges that face us uh, and meet them together. <laughs>